Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your late night AEW Dynamite review. So the show was basically hyped that uh, Tony Khan was hyping that oh someone's gonna come through the forbidden door. We did get like two debuts, and one of them was supposed to be known as the forbidden door. And the forbidden door apparently means that oh it's like this person is like from both shows. Uh, uh some people are saying that the guy who debuted tonight a. Suppose a former WWE wrestler, yeah, so what can you say? A former WWE wrestler that's, you know, I mean, it's really surprising. It's not really, but, like, people are acting like that's going to be, like, a game changer. But, like, you got people saying that, you know, this guy's a game changer. You know, what a game changing moment in wrestling with the guy who's supposed to the forbidden door. Even though no one has really gave, known or gave a fuck. About this guy. Nobody even knows who the fuck he is besides Smarks. Okay? When you think of for, for Forbidden Door. Okay? And a big star to debut. It's a guy who's actually a guy that fucking people know. And pop culture and shit like that. People who actually fucking people know. This ain't no fucking Forbidden Door bullshit. This is just fucking... Who the fuck gives a shit? Like, get the fuck out of the fucking door, you fucker. Don't let the door hit you. When you're fucking leaving, because who the fuck are you? Who gives a shit? Fucking hey, forbidden door my ass, okay? And the guy who debuted tonight too, a big... Pat fuck, really. <laughs> you know, he's not supposed... Apparently he's not the forbidden door, but people are so happy. Like, you know, he's the forbidden door and he's not the forbidden door of tonight. But whatever, it's fucking dumb. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. Tell you, I just think to myself, like, what the fuck? Who gives a shit? Oh man, so I came home when, uh, so this, sh I missed like most of this crap because I didn't want to, uh, I don't know, I just, this was not worth fucking me going, getting home early because I just did better shit to do. So the show started with the pinnacle holding a victory celebration for MGF. MGF says that he is the best in the world and defeated CM Punk in his hometown of Chicago twice. Uh, referring to how last week there was like he pinned him two times or he beat him two times even though like the match was started or whatever. MGF says that he pinned Punk. He whispered to his ear that he sucks. MGF says that he thinks it's his time to go after the AEW world title. Punk interrupts and brings Derby Allen and Sting with him. Again, I would have been actually good with the idea of him challenging for the uh, title, honestly. Because really, if you look at what's going to happen now for the world title at AEW Revolution. So what, you're going to do a rematch of Punk versus MJF at Revolution? Like, wouldn't if that's the case, wouldn't you have done the match then and there if you try to build this shit better? But again, because this feud ran its course, I don't know what to fucking tell you. Punk interrupts and brings Derby Allen Sting with him. Punk says he wants another shot against the man that beat him last week, Warlow. As MJF wouldn't have beaten him if it wasn't for his help. Okay, so basically he wants to face Warlow now. MJF says that he will beat... He, he, he says that he beat Punk by himself and that Warlow is his best friend. MJF proposes a match... And a partner of his choosing besides Darby Allen and Sting to face FTR. And if they win, MJF will give Punk a rematch. Uh, great, whatever. No one cares, you know. Warlow defeats the Blade. That's uh, whatever. He just defeats the Jobber, really. But just many power bombs ensues. Like, whatever. Uh, yeah, remember, I, I forgot to mention this Punk versus Warlow match month, uh, weeks ago. But yeah, like, fucking multiple power bombs, basically making this, like, Warlow, apparently he's thinking that he does power bombs now. And then freaking, you know, he couldn't beat Punk, I don't know. He 
there's just no selling that. It's kind of already ruined him, honestly, so. Pentagon goes to the graveyard and digs up his Lucha Underground mask. So we're supposed to be tending care because, oh, Lucha Underground, oh! Because Galaxy seems like they're referring to, old, to companies that weren't really that mainstream for some fucking reason. I don't know, wouldn't you mention, uh, I, I don't even know what happened, but like, listen. You have to understand that whoever watches this show are not going to fucking know what happened in Lucha Underground, what happens in TNA Impact Wrestling, or even fucking WWE. You're supposed to pretend that a show, you're, you're introducing somebody. So, yes, the fucking fans may know that fucker because they're a bunch of smarts or whatever. But, like, really, you should try to, I don't know, introduce them to the show and introduce, like, or actually explain it better. I don't fucking know. Or show some clips. Does it hurt? Now, about this whole forbidden door crap, does it hurt? Maybe you actually mention the fucking companies and actually show. Show some video clips. I don't fucking know. Instead of just saying saying it. This is just fucking... Tell, like, this is the problem why, like, movies like The Last Airbender didn't work out. Or just other, other movies in general that just a flop because it's just, it's just spoken storytelling. Okay? We need... Don't just show... Or don't just tell. Like, show. Don't just tell. That's the thing you have to do. Then Chris Jericho demands answers from Santana Ortiz. So they have them some stupid council bullshit. Well, the sentence became the inner circle. Like, really? Why is this happening? I don't know what to tell you. This makes no sense. Santana Ortiz says that they're do they're done playing second fiddle to Jericho. Santana says if he was if it wasn't for Ortiz, he would have already whooped Jericho's ass. Jericho says that Santana reminds him of Eddie Guerrero, and uh, Jericho says that Eddie Kingston hasn't done anything for him, but he has put him in the main event of Dynamite, Rampage, and pay per view. Jericho points out that he already had a shot against the Young Bucks for the AEW World title and lost. Jericho speculates he brought in the wrong members of uh, uh, wrong members of LAX to join him. So they hate each other now. I doubt this is supposed to be a team. Why do they hate each other for some reason? I doubt it's just a little dissension. Why all of a sudden they so hate each other? And if anything. They weren't even really building this up good to, like, they, now they hate each other. Like, how is this something to give a fuck about? About them now possibly breaking up. Okay? Like, really, this is not really, and especially when you include Eddie Kings to this shit. This whole fuck, especially, like, their feud, like, the people who they're fighting, not just with Eddie Kingston, but they're fighting guys called 2.0 and Daniel Garcia? People who don't fucking, people don't fucking know. Like, wouldn't this shit kind of make sense if this was like, I don't know, them you still feuding with the Pinnacle? Or some actual legit faction that's actually, I don't know, cool, badass, and actually trying to, like, actually is like a better tag team? Like, the fuck this is? I don't know to tell you. Sammy Guevara comes out and says that he quit the inner circle before, and if, the, if, they didn't get together. He will. Uh, he will leave again. Santana says he wants to sell it in the ring with a match of Jericho and Hager versus Santana Ortiz. I don't know. I don't know. Like it's whatever. You know. Like I. It's like I don't care. <laughs> like that's the fucking thing. We're supposed to pretend this is something interesting, even though this is literally like a terrible way. Of trying to do something by breaking up a faction. I don't even think like I mean, this is the, the the sad thing is this faction. I'm not saying it's a great faction, right? But like this, the thing is, this is sadly the only real faction that I know or people probably know from AEW. You think people really give a shit about teams like the Elite? Even though the company's called All Elite Wrestling, they just go to show their bunch of mark for, marks for themselves. Yeah, the Bullet Club. They're really just called a Bullet Club, really. I don't know, but they're calling themselves the Elite or something. You think people give a shit about the Dark Order? You think people really... Let's be honest here. 
the pinnacle, haven't even done much as a fucking faction, more than fucking, I don't know, the inner circle. So what makes sense for them breaking, I don't know, because what is really a legit faction, okay? Like, the pinnacle really haven't really done much besides them feuding with fucking the inner circle, right? I don't know, I'm trying to make some logic here, like, if you actually want to fuck... But the thing is, like, that's unfortunately the only way they're creating a story. That, oh, good buddies breaking up, uh, friendship. Because, like, that's sadly the only story they're doing. That's the sad part. That's literally the only storyline they really kind of have. Everything else is just, I'm happy to be here. Or, I'm done going to hurt you because I want to. Or, I want to be a great athlete. I want to be the world champion. I want to pick your ass because I want the title. Blah, blah, blah. And I want to be the best wrestler in the world. Not actual real stories, for God's sakes. Like, why the fucking people hate each other? They just, I want to win the championship. Or, I want to hurt you. I'm going to just attack. Because apparently that's how they fucking make feuds now. It's just some guy debuting. Or some guy out of nowhere is going to beat up some fucker. And we're supposed to pretend that's something interesting. And apparently that makes sense. Like, ugh. Then, yeah, speaking of that. The super click attack Rapungi Vice. Even though no one the fucking knows or cares a fuck about Rapungi Vice. What is a Rapungi Vice? Oh, apparently it's some guy from Best Friends. Yeah, so another faction called Best Friends. Like, that's a better team than in the circle. Ugh. Like, who the fuck knows or gives a shit about Rapungi Vice? One of them is like, what, Trim Beretta and the other guy is some fucking tard? Like, and oh, who joins in? Is the, the the forbidden door of tonight. And it's, it's fucking the switchblade, Jay White. Who the fuck is he? No one fucking knows or cares. All I know is that this guy was in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And then he w he joined TNA. That's all I know. That's all I know of this guy. And apparently he's from the Bullet Club. Yeah, another fucking guy that we had to pretend to care about. And yeah, this is literally a guy that no one fucking knows. Besides, I guess, Smarks. Like, you actually, I, the thing is, you you hear of guys like, like you're not, you hear of guys like Kenny Omega, even Okada from, like, New Japan, people who actually talked about because, you know, that smarky shit. Who the fuck is, and gives a shit about Jay White, okay? Like, literally, this guy, just, it's just a knockoff of Kenny Omega. That's what he is. He's literally just a fucking Kenny Omega guy. Or he just a wannabe, if anything. That's what I get from him. Except he's fucking, like, paler, and I don't know, he's less gay, maybe? I don't fucking know. Who the fuck is Jay White? Why should we pretend to, pretend to oh, this is the forbidden door. Yeah, this was the surprise, by the way. This was the big surprise. It was not that fucking fat tar that, that joined that was from WWE. Apparently, this is listed as the forbidden door. But some people are thinking it's a forbidden... But apparently, again, forbidden door means, like, oh, you're from, you're from another company, and you're joining this company at the same time. And yeah, Jay White is currently in TNA Impact, apparently. This is just fucking retarded. This is the big surprise. That's the big surprise, by the way, what Tony Khan was talking about. Oh, I thought, I hope you guys like, because this will be a, a big, yeah, that's the, it's not fucking, that fucking bear cat motherfucker. It's this guy. This is the surprise. Jay White. No one fucking knows or gives a fuck about this guy, unless you're a fucking smart. But for real, what is good about this guy? From what I see, this guy is literally no different than Kenny. He, he's just a less known version of Kenny. He's like Kenny Light. That's what he is. He's Kenny Omega Light. He's the guy who's known that he fucking just joined the Bullet Club. He's just, he's just like Hangman Page. He's just like Hangman Page. Hangman Page joined the Bullet Club and no one fucking cares or knows the fuck who he truly is. Okay? That's the fucking truth. Fuck Jay White. No one fuck. Oh, he's the Switchblade. That's why you should know he's the Switchblade. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck would that mean, huh? How about you take a Switchblade and shove up your ass, you motherfucker? No one fucking knows who the fuck you are, you garbage piece of shit. It's not me. Oh, you know, you're not a real wrestling fan if you don't know who Jay White is. Motherfuckers! This is supposed to be a surprise or something like this big, as big as punk for fuck's sakes that he's hyping up as, as that hype he's hyping it. Stop pretending that fucking people give a shit about New Japan for a fucking pro wrestling or impact. Cause guess what? The reality is, you need, 
like it or not, stop complaining. Oh, like WWE only watch. Guess what? That's like saying that you're not a real football fan if you watch something other than you uh, than fucking NF, NFL, or if you're not a real uh, MMA fan, you don't watch fucking UFC. You know how fucking stupid that is. You know how fucking dumb that is. Come on here. And let's be honest, all these smarts still watch WWE. They're lying if they do, oh, I don't watch them. No, you're lying. You, Cause you have no fucking lives. You guys fucking watch fucking AEW. You think it's the best thing ever. You guys, your life is all about wrestling. That's a fucking problem for fuck. Face. God damn it. Like Jay White. Who the fuck is he? There's a reason. And again, like for my what I see, he's just like Kenny. No actual character, no charisma, no actual story, no actual interesting shit about this guy. And this guy is just your typical flips and kicks motherfucker. Okay? What's the difference? Fuck Jay White already and fuck the entire bullet club. Oh the bullet club reunite! Yeah. Fuck off, I don't care. Fucking Chris Bay is probably more well known than this guy. Apparently he teams on Chris Bay, aka Alizi25 from YouTube. Fucking Chris Bay, people actually know who the fuck Chris Bay is, or Alizi25 from YouTube. If you just look up WWE Replica Belt Shines, people actually know who the fuck he is. People in the YWC actually, if you watch the YWC Belt community, I bet you people remember or actually know more about Chris Bay. Even not even like WWE fans or people who just looked up Replica Belt videos know who the fuck Alizi25 is. Then fucking and, and Jay White. Okay? Oh, Jay White, go fuck yourself. I don't give a shit about... Jay why do you, why are you there? I don't give a fuck. Andrade, uh, Andrade fucking tells Darby that he will be the next TNT champion and soon Darby will work for him. I, I, what the fuck is this shit? I don't give a fuck. He's just like, we're supposed... Yeah, apparently, you know, I'm doing the title and you elect for... What is the sense this is? So here's what people think supposedly the Forbidden Door, but it was not the Forbidden Door. So we get a debut. It was supposed, so it was like a surprise debut, apparently. Like that was hyped like since last week. And it's Keith Lee. Or Keith Bearcat Lee. Um, listen. I don't hate the motherfucker. The problem is like... What? Oh, he's limitless. What does that mean? Like, oh, he's basically, so basically, oh, he jumps around and shit. Like, doesn't work like a big man. Like, every fucking wrestler now. This God forbid you have a big man wrestler and you don't have him look like, work like a big man. Because everybody fucking just do flips now. I'm not saying that's not impressive, but for real, does it hurt to actually work like a big man wrestler? And really, like, what makes it really unique if he's just basically just like Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow? Because they did flips too. Oh, but he's limitless. He's calling himself limitless for some reason. Yeah, basically the same shit that Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow was. Okay, whatever. And plus, again, like, the problem is you're trying to make... I understand. Yeah, people are going to know because he was from WWE. You got to try to introduce him. I don't know. Or, or do some vignettes. Do some build-up. Like, you can't just, like, all of a sudden believe. Like, every, I understand because... Here's the thing, the difference is, like, if you are from WWE, that actually somewhat works. But the thing is, like, it's not like he's, like, this big star that people are pretending he's going to be a game changer. Just because he was from WWE, or, oh, you know, like, what? what? Like, what is it? You gotta actually try to build, actually establish a character. Okay? But he's, if anything, again, it's just the same shit he's been doing in WWE. And in NXT, it's like, no one really knows who the fuck he is. He's just all unlimited. Ugh. Whatever. And he know he's not a game changer, you dumb motherfuckers. Like, no one fucking really knows who the fuck Keith Lee is. Okay? Am I saying he's not gonna be good? He, he will be fine, maybe. But, like, the thing is, you gotta do something with a guy. You gotta make him interesting. But not, I don't think he's, like, this game changer that you guys fucking pretend that, oh, man, you know. Vince missed this opportunity. Because, again, he's just basically a fucking big, fat, black guy. Okay? Heck, if you gave him a gimmick that he lo he's a fucking big black dude and fucking just loves eating fried chicken, that's more of a character at least than fucking calling himself limited. Eh? It's not me being racist. It's just so fucking true. Yo, a racist unless they're not Michael. I don't fucking care, okay? I don't give a shit. At least I'll be character. Fuck. Make him a big black man gimmick that he loves eating. 
That's more of a character than the fucking god. Even though that's so corny. The thing is, at least that's more like a gimmick or character than I'm limitless. I'm just basically bad, bad, legal about black. Ugh. Fucking A. So he defeated some jobber, Isaiah Cassidy, and he will be part of the face of the revolution ladder match. So, already pushed to the moon, guys. This is not fucking a problem. Like, he's being pushed to the moon already. I thought you guys don't like that. See if fucking John Moxley defeats FTR. I must have missed this. Whatever. MJF must, uh, must now face Punk again. Whatever. Jay Cargill defeats AQA to retain the TBS title. Who the fuck is AQA? I mean, at least they're fucking having the TBS title be defended on, a, on TBS and TNT. But like, who the fuck is this bitch? Why should we pretend to care about this match? There we see Serena Deeb defeated Katie Arquette in a five minute rookie challenge. You got fucking Serena Deeb like, you know, trying to be like, oh, you know, I, I'm an experience. I'm the professor. What are you, the professor of shit? That's what you are, you're garbage. Who the fuck are you? No one fucking knows who or gives a fuck who, who you are besides fucking these fucking weirdos who pretend to give a shit about you when you're bald in the straight society. Okay? Nobody fucking gives a shit. And God, she's disgusting. God! I'm telling you, her being bald back, in the, back then did not help her. Definitely ruined her fucking whatever care she has currently. Because God, she's balding as fuck. She's... Not only fucking disgusting, she's fucking just... What is her character? It's shit. Oh, she's the female of a thousand holds. Yeah, rip off a fucking boring guy and you get the boringest bitch in the fucking game. Fuck you. You stupid cunt. Seriously, you're garbage. What's a professor? Great. Guess, yeah, guess what? Professors are boring. Good thing, yeah, yeah, great, you're establishing the most boring bitch in the fucking game, motherfucker. Great, good good job on you. How dare you say that? She's beautiful. I have to find her attractive when she was bald. Fuck you, even want a, something bald? Get a fucking bald fucking Circus Simes fucking penis and shove your ass and hopefully you get ejaculated to fucking death. You fuckers, shut up. Make sure it doesn't have any pubes on it. Adam Cole Gay Gay says that the, the Jay White will have the Bullet Cubs back when they uh, face Rapungi Vice on Rampage. Yeah, oh, the Bullet Club! Ah, oh, you're supposed to take a ball, Bullet Club! Doesn't this not tell you that the, the, this show is all about these fucking guys? I'm telling you, this is why they created this show. They're using this con guy's money to just put over themselves to make them seem like they're stars. That's what it is. That's all it is. It's not about being a great company. It's about putting themselves over, trying to make themselves seem like they're stars. The Buck says that that Cole couldn't sh couldn't show them a heads up as Kenny Omega and Jade did not like each other. And then Cole tells them that not to worry about neither steer them wrong. And that dude, you're a bull club, you're a bull club for life. Whatever, yeah, uh, bull club, yeah, right, let's rip out the clip. Oh, fuck off. Oh, here's what that's for next week on Dynamite. The face of illusion qualifying bullshit. Jake Hager and, yeah, Jack Swagger and Jericho versus Santana Ortiz. And Donna Rosa versus Martini Martinez in a no citation match. I, just, I wonder if this is, you know, this is not going to affect the record. Oh, yeah, yeah. What makes this different than Lights Out match? Like, seriously. And what makes this different than Lights Out match, too? That apparently it doesn't affect your record. Hangman Page defeated fucking Lance Archer in a Texas death match to retain the AW World title. I'll be honest with you. This match, I really couldn't give much of a fuck. Despite being hardcore, right? The problem is, here's the problem. I'm not saying that, oh... I don't like blood in wrestling, and I don't like fucking this hardcore shit. It's fine. But you only cared about it if this was a hardcore match. You wouldn't give a shit if this was a normal match. But the thing is, you didn't really care either way if it was a hardcore match, because there was no real good story. What was the story? Oh, I want the title. 
I want to kick you because I don't like you. I want to be champion. And then fucking got Ham and Page being a fake ass cowboy goof. I got do. I got a video coming about how Ham and Page just sucks. Um. Yeah, fucking this match was not. Really, they started. Oh, they started off in the backstage and then uh, whatever. So it was like basically yeah, the Dex's death match was like you win by submission or a last man standing kind of deal. It was not terrible, but it's like it's whatever. You know the thing is you've seen this. The thing is with AEW, like, it's been done before, it just, there's, it's like, you've seen the match before, you've seen them all, because there's really, like, the same, thing. it's not about matches, no stories. What is the real story about this match? Because there's no story, that's the thing, there's no story. You need a story here, come on! Is it hard to develop a story for wrestling nowadays? And especially to just, oh, I want to win the championship, I want to be the best in the world. Because that's the every, that's the, the thing is... If you're wrestling, shouldn't you want to be the best in the world? That, I don't know. Whatever. Um, after the match, you got Adam Cole, gay, gay. Yeah, great. So this is the match we're going to see for Revolution. The, a pay we're supposed to spend how much money? Adam Cole, he just gave the title. And then, you know, oh, he's going to be number one contender. Even though the guy lost to a fucking jobber last week, didn't he? Or two weeks, whatever the fuck it was. And he's the number one contender. I don't want to tell you. Oh, Bullet Club versus Bullet Club! Oh, fuck off! Fuck this show. Fuck Bearcat and Keith Lee. Fuck Jay White. Fuck these jobbers. Boring show. Stop pretending that Keith Lee is some game changer. Stop pretending that apparently Jay White is going to be a game changer. Because no one even fucking knows the fuck he is. Okay? And fucking fuck this show. Okay? Fuck it. Boring ass show. I'm tired. Who gives a shit? That's AEW free. AEW ain't no fucking future. I'm telling you. It ain't going to fucking... It, it's... You guys think... Oh, you know... I take my... But that's it. This is gonna kill WWE, man. I, 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 I that's it. This is gonna change. This is the game chain of wrestling. WWE show is is fearing. Like this is actually a legit comment. I think this is a legit comment from Facebook. Like I'm not kidding. That's it. It's not over for literally. It's I'm not kidding. These fans are retarded. These fans are retarded. That's it. It's nearly over, WWE. I'm not really an AEW mark. Yeah, you're lying. You are a mark. You're just fucking trying to make it seem like you you don't you're not a fucking legit gay fanboy. But they have the best roster in the wrestling right now. Yeah, best roster in the business. Yet yeah, this this show can't get ratings, even with the Bearcat or whatever. I guarantee you. Okay, you might get oh one million or something because you're pretending that this show is gonna get some big star like an Austin or whatever. Or even like equivalent to even a fucking guy like, I don't know, some somebody, right? Or like people thought it would be Shane. But the thing is, I would mean, probably think that would be retarded. But like you really think Keith Lee's going to change the business or whatever. And apparently this is a big, because watch what happens. It's going to be the same scenario. If guys like Sting, if guys like fucking CM Punk, if guys like Jericho, Guys who have, who are former WWE guys, are not even saying this shit? What makes you think Keith Lee, Jay White, or whatever, all these other guys that you get? Because you don't know why also? Because when you have literally just some wrestlers, but everything else is shit, who the fuck cares? Everything is shit. And the thing is, they're not even using them. At least with WWE, they actually have stars. Sure, it's part-timers, but come on, at least they're stars. Like it or not. And they have reigns. Guys who actually make money than more money. And this company makes you really think they're gonna they're gonna fear this shit when they're making more money. Even though yes, it won't be for long, but come on here. Let's can we come in agreement that both shows suck and they suck at getting ratings too? That modern wrestling is garbage? Why are we pretending that this sh everything is good now? Well yeah, because this these people have fucking weird mentalities. And they probably just really just like gay porn. They probably just like fucking be bear cat Lee because he's like this. Big gay black daddy, whatever they wish to get pummeled, cause they fucking attracted this guy. Cause these fucking fans are literally fucking weird. They like gay porn. They like sixty nine. They like men kissing each other. They like Adam Cole getting kissed by the young bucks. They like fucking 
to, can, can you make a 69 people? They like gay weird indie shit. Just like, cause they're fan of New Japan bullshit. This is not fucking wrestling for weird. This is, I would be embarrassed watching this shit. If, like if I was with a chick or if I was with buddies. Cause why would I watch, watch this shit? Come on here. Keith Lee ain't no game changer. What a fucking joke. Fucking Jay White, the forbidden door. Fuck off. Let the fucking, how about a fucking door come crawling, crumbling. All the fucking doors of the world come crumbling to the fucking rock, uh, to the show. And fucking just smash everybody. Cause everybody's garbage, okay? I'm just keeping it real. Drink your cold magnesium. Get your fucking gains. Fuck this shit, man. I'm just keeping it real. If you don't like it, y'all could go fuck yourself and suck my fucking dick. Fuck you, you fucking fans.